Kshatriya Devanagari, Kshatriya Gurmukhi, Katari from Sanskrit Kshatra, rule, authority, is one of the four varna social orders of the Hindu society. The Sanskrit term Kshatriya is used in the context of Vedic society wherein members were organized into four classes, Kshatriya, Brahman, Vaishya and Shudra. Traditionally, the Kshatriya constituted the ruling and military class. Their role was to protect their interests by fighting in wartime and governing in peacetime. Origins Early Rigvedic tribal chiefdom The administrative machinery in the Rig Vedic period functioned with a tribal chief called Rajan whose position was not hereditary. The king was elected in a tribal assembly, which included women, called Samiti. The Rajan protected the tribe and cattle, was assisted by a priest, and did not maintain a standing army, though in the later period the rulership appears to have risen as a class. The concept of fourfold Varna system was non existent. Later Vedic period The hymn Purusha Sukta to the Rigveda describes the mythical history of the four Varna. Some scholars consider the Purusha Sukta to be a late interpolation into the Rigveda based on the neological character of the composition, as compared to the more archaic style of the Vedic literature. Since not all Indians were fully regulated under the Varna in the Vedic society, the Purusha Sukta was supposedly composed in order to secure Vedic sanction for the heredity caste scheme. An alternate explanation is that the word shudra does not occur anywhere else in the Rig Veda except the Purusha Sukta, leading some scholars to believe the Purusha Sukta was a composition of the later Rig Vedic period itself to denote, legitimize and sanctify an oppressive and exploitative class structure that had already come into existence then. Although the Purusha Sukta uses the term Rajanya, not Kshatriya, it is considered the first instance in the Vedic texts that now remained where four social classes are mentioned for the first time together. Usage of the term Rajanya possibly indicates the kinsmen of the Rajan i.e., kinsmen of the ruler had emerged as a distinct social group then, such that by the end of the Vedic period, the term Rajanya was replaced by Kshatriya, where Rajanya stresses kinship with the Rajan and Kshatriya denotes power over a specific domain. The term Rajanya unlike the word Kshatriya essentially denoted the status within a lineage. Whereas Kshatra, means, ruling, one of the ruling order. Jaiswal points out the term Brahman rarely occurs in the Rig Veda with the exception of the Purusha Sukta and may not have been used for the priestly class. Based on the authority of Panini, Patanjali, Katyayana and the Mahabharata, Jayaswal believes that Rajanya was the name of political people and that the Rajanyas were, therefore, a democracy with an elected ruler. Some examples were the Indaka and Vrsni Rajanyas who followed the system of elected rulers. Ram Shuran Sharma details how the central chief was elected by various clan chiefs or lineage chiefs with increasing polarization between the Rajanya aristocracy helping the ruler and the Vis peasants leading to a distinction between the chiefs as a separate class Raja, Rajanya, Kshatra, Kshatriya on one hand and Vis clan peasantry on the other hand. The term Kshatriya comes from Kshatra and implies temporal authority and power which was based less on being a successful leader in battle and more on the tangible power of laying claim to sovereignty over a territory, and symbolizing ownership over clan lands. This later gave rise to the idea of kingship. In the period of the Brahmanas 800 BCE to 700 BCE, there was ambiguity in the position of the Varna. In the Panchavimsha Brahmana 13, 4, 7, the Rajanya are placed first, followed by Brahmana then Vaishya. In Shatapatha Brahmana 13.8.3.11, the Kshatriya are placed second. In Shatapatha Brahmana 1.1.4.12 the order is Brahmana, Vaishya, Rajanya, Shudra. The order of the Brahmanical tradition Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra became fixed from the time of Dharmasutras 450 BCE to 100 BCE. The Kshatriya were often considered preeminent in Buddhist circles. Even among Hindu societies they were sometimes at rivalry with the Brahmins, but they generally acknowledged the superiority of the priestly class. <inaudible> Symbols In rituals, the Nyagroda ficus indica or India fig or banyan tree danda, or staff, is assigned to the Kshatriya class, along with a mantra, intended to impart physical vitality or ohas. 
Topic: <inaudible> Lineage. The Vedas do not mention Kshatriya or Varma of any Vansha lineage. The lineages of the Itihasa Purana tradition are Suryavanshi solar line and Chandravanshi or Somavanshi lunar line. There are other lineages such as the Agnavanshi in which an eponymous ancestor rises out of Agni fire and Nagavanshi snake born claiming descent from the Nagas. The Nagavanshi not attested in the Itihasa Purana tradition were Naga tribes whose origin can be found in scriptures. Topic See also Indian caste system Forward castes Sanskritization References Further reading Ramesh Chandra Majumdar, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. History and Culture of Indian People, The Vedic Age. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, 1996. pp. 313 to 314